I believe it's really important to support design and technology at a school level because with the ever increasing changes to technology in the wider world it's important we can inspire the students and the staff to greater success and involvement in the projects that they're doing. Now the 3D printer is um, a relatively inexpensive piece of machinery. It's basically a, an output device that enables students to make and model components, models, parts, all sorts of things. What we're going to be doing very shortly is to be printing them out rather like this. This motor on the top of the machine here pulls the plastic up around the top into the heater at the bottom and really I suppose the best way to describe it is really like a, a miniature hot glue gun and it heats up the plastic until it melts. These motors move the head around, squidge out the plastic and lay it down in thin layers onto, onto the bed of the machine here. I've made a plug on the computer and converted it into G-codes, so on the printer I've now made a 3D plug. The printer has an enormous wow factor with the students. Uh, they just love it. I think their first reaction is, what on earth does this pile of nuts and bolts and lumps of plastic do? Um, but the students really do engage with it. They're, they're very impressed by how quickly and easily you can produce a, a 3D artefact. It is absolutely amazing to see something on the computer uh, 2D to come into 3D in your hands. The printer's good because it's innovative and it makes things, like when you design it on the computer, it brings it to life and you can actually hold the stuff in your hands and it makes it more realistic. The machine is available both in kit form and as a, a pre-built option. In kit form, it makes a wonderful project for things like diploma courses in engineering and that sort of thing, or an after-school club. It, it's a project in its own right before you even start printing. It's enabling us to get students to produce both prototypes as well as actual parts for their designs. So it's really quite versatile. We're starting to look into introducing the machine into other curriculum areas. We've shown all members of staff at the school the 3D printer and some of the geography teachers, for example, science teachers have seen how they could apply it to their own subject areas and in fact have seen the member of staff to see whether they can use it in their lessons. We're starting to look at um, producing teaching and learning resources for other areas. So, for example, um, my most recent one is to be looking at 3D terrain mapping um, and using data from satellite to produce 3D models of things like volcanoes. It's something that's not really being tackled before in schools. These resources are open to anyone. They're shared on a wiki um, and anybody can contribute, not just me. I like the 3D printer because it helps bring our designs to life and shows us, like, it gives us more inspiration to be able to hold and put in an environment where we can see what we've got to and how we've made it. And um, it just helps with our evaluation and also shows where maybe we've gone wrong or what we thought we could do, we can't. It's already had a massive impact on my learning. Um, my modelling's improved a lot by using the printer and my ideas have already developed a lot. <laughs>